Hi, welcome to Clean Beauty with Allie Marie. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you all about Beauty Counter's newest Think Big all-in-one mascara. I'm going to be comparing it to the older formulations that Beauty Counter had, the volumizing and the lengthening mascara. I'm also going to share how to apply this mascara to keep it in place all day long without any smudges, and then I'll share my favorite ways to remove it after you are done wearing it for the day. I hope you guys enjoy today's video. Thank you so much for watching. For those of you who are new to my channel, I am Allie, I am a mom, have two girls, I am on a mission to get safer products into the hands of everyone. I did also get my Invisalign treatment um, last week, so you might notice a little bit of a talking difference and you can maybe see the trays um, during my videos for the next several weeks. So bear with me, I cannot wait to see the results. I'll keep you posted on that journey. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, it would really mean a lot to me. So please subscribe before you go. Thanks. Okay, let's jump right in. I'm gonna go ahead and get the Think Big Mascara on my right eye, and then I am going to be applying the other two mascaras to my left eye so that you can compare the two. And then at the end, I will go ahead and apply the Think Big Mascara to both eyes just so you can see the finished product. So here we go. The new Think Big Mascara is in this gorgeous luxe new tube it is so beautiful and um, the wand i especially love it has this tapered end that really makes it a lot easier to control and those teeny little brushes really help to separate the lashes so it minimizes the need to use a primer on your lashes first so here we go this is my right eye i am just going to start by brushing it from bottom to top and just kind of blink into it and pull it up. One of my favorite things about this new mascara is the fact that not only is it going to lengthen and add volume in one product versus the previous two mascaras that Beauty Counter had, the lengthening and the volumizing were individual. It, this new one also, um, strengthens and nourishes your lashes while you're wearing it with a um, tripeptide technology. So that is pretty exciting. So as you guys can see from left to right, the instant volume that has been added with just one little swipe. So I am gonna add just a little bit more. This is, I'd say, a good second coat here. I did get a little bit of it on my inner eye and it wipes away really easy. I'll get that off in just a sec. Okay. Use my ring finger. I'm never gonna rub, I'm just gonna wipe. Okay, there we go. I have nothing on my left eye and the Think Big on my right eye. What a difference, right? It is so long. Um, looks like I've got fake lashes on. I love it. I didn't apply any to the bottom. Um, I'm just gonna show you the tops for all of these. I will go ahead and add the bottom whenever we're looking for the finished look. So um, I am going to do the lengthening. Here was what the old brush looked like. It is a nice thin brush here, it was not tapered. And um, I do feel like this did add a lot of length, but I will show you the difference between the two formulas. So I am going to do the same thing I did on the other side, just kind of blink into it and pull up. I'm gonna get you guys a close up of the difference here. So you can see that this one is a lot longer and a lot fuller than just this side. So I am pretty impressed with those results. Let me show you the volumizing too so you guys can see that. Okay, back to no mascara on my left eye. Let's try the volumizing. This is actually the one that I preferred I'll show you this nice thick wand here. It kind of helped me to get inside of each lash and kind of make sure that they were all coated. Let's go ahead and get this one on so we can compare. Maybe a little bit more just to make sure we are even here since we are wanting a honest review of the two. Okay, so you can see the length 
and this side, it's like, it's kind of hard to see. It is definitely longer and fuller. I hope you guys can see the difference. I hope I'm close enough. Okay, so we've got the volumizing on this eye, the think big on this eye, and now I'm going to go ahead and remove the volumizing, add the think big to both eyes and even a little bit on the bottom, and I'm gonna share with you how to keep your think big mascara in place all day long, so stay tuned. Okay, I have all of the mascara removed again from this eye, and let's get the think big back on this eye. I love that you can achieve this look without the use of all of the gunk that is in typical mascara. So we don't have any of the carbon black or any of the other toxic ingredients, especially being so close to your eyes. I really think that a clean mascara is super important. Okay, so give us one more little Swipe here. So I have been using this mascara for about two weeks now, and the first couple of times I used it, it did start to smudge right down here, just a teeny little bit, and I um, determined that it was because my skin is so super hydrated that the natural oils in my skin around here were um, acting as kind of like an eye makeup removal or remover since I do like to use an oil to remove my mascara kind of made sense. So I found a perfect way to keep your mascara smudge proof all day long. It includes one little product here and this is called the mattifying powder. This is a little translucent powder you can kind of see it here. Um, it's white, and then whenever it goes on your skin, it blends in perfectly without leaving any um, white cast at all. Um, let me go ahead and add a little bit of this product to my bottom lashes too, just so you guys can kind of see the full effect of this fabulous mascara. Let me show you how to keep it in place all day. So you're going to take just a little bit of this mattifying powder. You can use your finger. I like this brush just because it's kind of easy to find where I'm looking for it to go. So I just have a little tiny bit of powder. So this powder I'm going to put right here underneath my eyes. Just a really thin coating. But I'm going to put it kind of a little further down too. So if my top lashes were to blink because they are so long now, they might blink down there and touch my skin. I don't want any of that to transfer. Okay, so just a nice quick pat of that and it instantly soaks up all of those oils. I'm also, if I did put on eyeshadow, which I will be doing some fun eyeshadow tutorials here soon. I just got my brand new Lid Glow eyeshadows in, so I'm gonna be sharing those with you soon. If I had put it on my upper lids, I would use this powder all the way up to my brow bone too, just so that that mascara doesn't transfer up here. Okay, super quick, super easy. Again, right underneath. I think I am ready to go. I do wanna show you guys what one more coat will look like since I didn't really do I think I might have done about two coats, but you really can build on this. So I'm just gonna show you a little bit more of a dramatic look, because this is buildable. Um, I've tried up to three coats, and that's really as much as you're gonna want to do before it starts to look cakey. But here, let me do one more coat for you guys, just so you can see how full and how long your lashes can look with this fabulous mascara. I do feel like if you are going to add Additional coats, I think it works a little bit better whenever they're still a little wet. So go ahead and add all of your coats at the same time versus waiting like I just did. I think you'll be happier with how it builds that way. But I mean, wow, I hope you guys can see how big this mascara is. Think big for sure. Um, okay. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pop off get my eyebrows done, maybe a little bit more of a bold lip color, come back and show you um, the finished look for 
today, but I hope you guys are as excited about this new mascara as I am. I think this is a huge win. Um, if you are experiencing smudge or transfer, I would highly suggest the mattifying powder. I will be back in just a second with my finished look for the day. Okay, I'm back. What do you guys think of the finished look? I did add in um, a little bit of brow. I just penciled it in with the brow pencil. I did one little thin line of black eyeliner on my waterline just to make my eyes pop just a little bit more. But man, look at that mascara. I mean, oh, I love it. I am so excited about this new mascara. Um, now let's pretend like it's time to remove my makeup after a fabulous day wearing this. Staying put all day long with my nice mattifying powder. The best ways to remove it, I have tried these four and I'm gonna rank them in order of which ones I liked the best. So I'm gonna start with the Counter Time Lipid Defense Cleansing Oil as my favorite way to remove it. Um, mostly because this is the cleanser that I use already, so it's just easy to put it in one step. Um, I do gently put it over the mascara. It starts to break up the formula, and then I use a um, washcloth just to wipe it all clean. So, love this one. Another one is the Lotus Glow Cleansing Balm. This is my second favorite way to remove this product, mostly because this product is just so good for so many other uses. So if you are not already using counter time, you might not want to buy that cleanser just to remove your makeup. So this Lotus Glow Cleansing Balm, you can also use it as a hydrating overnight mask. You can use it to hydrate your cuticles, cracked heels, all kinds of other things. So I love having this one around. You just kind of use it like you might a typical cold cream. You just rub it, not rub, you wipe on your eye. We're never rubbing our eye area. Wipe gently on your eye to get that um, mascara to break up and you can wipe it clean with a washcloth or um, any of those reusable cotton pads, things like that. Of course, I showed you guys how to remove it with the um, make, well, I didn't show you, did I? But I did remove um, all of my mascara with the one-step makeup remover wipes and it came off like a dream. And then um, one more option is the instant eye makeup remover. Um, again, you can just wipe this gently right on your eyes. It'll help to remove that formula. Um, and then it, you can use a washcloth, reusable cotton pads to wipe it gently clean. There is a bundle on the Beauty Counter website right now where you can grab the Think Big um, All-in-One Mascara along with the Instant Eye Makeup Remover, bundle them together and save $7. Um, US pricing, I'm not sure. Canadian pricing, I'll have to look into that for you guys. But um, saving $7. Um, when these two are bundled together. Um, the cost of this mascara is $27, which is actually cheaper than the previous two formulas, and I love it about a thousand times more. So um, this is a huge win in my opinion. I hope you guys run and go grab this mascara. Um, do remember it is encouraged to replace your mascara every three months so that we do not get any bacteria built up around our eye area. So please make sure to remember that. Um, I hope you guys have a fabulous day. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. And I am here if you've got any questions for me at all. Have a super blessed day. Bye.